Hello students, welcome back. Today we are doing the circle exercise 21 and this is page number 220. Question 1. Use the figure given to fill in the blanks. So let's begin. R. R is the dash of the circle. So look out for the letter R. You can see it here. That means R is the center. R is the center of the circle. Question 2. The diameter of the circle. So what is the diameter? Diameter is a straight line which passes through the center of the circle and it touches the circle at two points on the circumference. So which line is that? That is passing through the center and touching and the ends of that line touches two points on the circumference. That is P, Q. Isn't it? It's a straight line. It's passing through the center and it's also touching the circumference. Circumference is the boundary. Okay, so now let's Right, the diameter of the circle is PQ. Next question. Tangent to a circle is, now what is a tangent? A tangent is a straight line which touches a circle only at one point. Can you see this here? A to B. A to B is touching the circle only at one point, that is point M. So this is the tangent of the circle. So the tangent is AB. AB, you can see A here and B here and it is touching the circle only at one point M. So such a line is called a tangent. Question 4. EF, now look at EF. We have E here and we have the line going on to F there. So that is EF. Now what is EF? EF is a dash of the circle. So what do you think this is? We have E here. And F here. Now it's a straight line as you can see and it is intersecting the circle. It's touching the circle and going beyond it. It's touching the circle at two points. There's one point here and one point here. Such a line which intersects the circle at two points on the circumference is called a secant. If it touches the circle only at one point, it's a tangent. Now this is passing through the circle and touching it at two points. This is called the secant of the circle. Question 5. Dash is a chord of a circle. Now, first of all, what is a chord? It's a straight line. It joins any two points on the circumference. So, a straight line which joins any two points on the circumference of a circle is called a chord. Now, I can see one chord here, C and D here. It's touching the circle at two points on the circumference. There's one more here. P and Q is also a straight line which is touching the circle at two points, the circumference. The only difference is this is passing through the center. So the diameter, because it passes through the center, it is the longest chord. So here you can write any one of these answers. CD is a chord and PQ is also a chord. Next one. Diameter equals 2 into radius. Diameter is 2 into radius. So 2 into radius. So radius is from the center to any point on the circumference, whereas diameter is twice that radius. So here, dash is the radius of a circle. Now let's see which is a line which starts from the center and touches the circumference of the circle. We have R and S. That's one radius. Then, so R and S is one radius. Now we have R and Q starting from the center and touching the circumference. R and Q is another radius. Then we have R and P also from the center to the circumference of the circle. So now we can write any one of these. So let's write R and S. R and S, we'll write it as a radius of the circle, R, S. If the length of R, S is 5 centimeters, R, S is the radius, then the length of P, Q, P, Q is the diameter. So here, question 6, we said diameter is 2 into radius. So here it will be 2 into 5, 2 fives are 10 centimeters. Now, if P, Q, that is the diameter is 8 centimeters, then Rs, which is the radius, is half of 8, which is 4 centimeters. 
Then question 10, AB, if you look carefully, AB is a dash of the circle. Now, we said a straight line which touches the circle only at one point is called a tangent. So, AB is a tangent of the circle. Question 2. Draw a circle of radius 4.2 centimeters. So, that's the first part. So, take your compass, measure 4.2 centimeters and draw a circle. Mark its center as O. So, let's mark its center as O. Now, take a point A on the circumference of the circle. So, anywhere of the circumference, take a point and name it A. Now, join AO. Let's join AO. Okay, so now this is the radius of the circle and the measurement of the radius has been given to us as 4.2 centimeters. We we'll just mark it. Now, the question says, extend this line till it meets point B on the circumference of the circle. Okay, so we have that. So we have B, we have extended the line. So we finished all the instructions here. Let's start with the first question. First question is measure the length of AB. So now take your ruler, place it on the line AB, measure the length. You will see that it is equal to 8.4 centimeters because the radius is 4.2. Now radius, there are two radii, both together make up the diameter. 4.2 plus 4.2 will give us 8.4. Even otherwise, when you measure with your ruler, you will get 8.4 centimeters. Now, assign a special name to AB. As you can see, AB is a straight line passing through the center of the circle and touching two ends of on the circumference of the circle. So, such a line is called a diameter. So, this is the special name of AB. Question 3. Draw a circle with diameter. First one 6 centimeters, second one 8.4 centimeters. In each case, measure the length of the radius of the circle drawn. So first let's draw a circle with diameter 6 centimeters. Now when diameter measurement is given, we have to first find the measurement of the radius and draw the circle with the help of that. So 6 centimeters is the diameter. So to find the radius, we divide it by 2. So, two threes are six. So, the radius is three centimeters. So, take three centimeters on your compass and draw a circle. Then, we are drawing the diameter, marking the point in the center as O. This is six centimeters as it's given in the question. Now, name this A and B. Now, here they say, in each case, measure the length of the radius. So, this is what we have drawn. Now we're going to find the measurement of the radius. Okay, so diameter AB is 6 centimeters. So radius OA is equal to OB is equal to half of the diameter. And that's how we're going to find out half of the diameter will be 1 by 2 into 6 centimeters because diameter is 6 centimeters. Now I can cancel 2 and 6. 2 3s are 6. So what I get here is 1 3s are 3 centimeters. So I have found the radius to be 3 centimeters. So this is my answer. Now we have to draw one more with the diameter equal to 8.4 centimeters. So draw a circle and mark it, mark the center as O. We have the diameter, we have named it AB. And the measurement is 8.4 centimeters. Now to find the measurement of the radius, we know the measurement of the diameter is 8.4. So radius will be half of the diameter. And what is the radius here? OA and OB are the two radii. They are equal to each other. And to find the measurement, we should do half of the diameter. That is 1 by 2 into Diameter is 8.4 centimeters. So when you multiply the numerators, you get 1 into 8.4 is 8.4 and the denominator is 2. So let's divide 8.4 by 2. 2 fours are 8 minus, and I carry the point up. Now I can bring the 4 down here, 0, I bring the 4 down. 2 twos are 4 minus 0. So I've got the measurement of 
the radius here to be 4.2 centimeters. So this is the measurement of the radius. 4.2 centimeters. Question 4. Draw a circle of radius 6 centimeters. So first let's do that. So take a 6 centimeters on your compass and draw a circle. So you get a circle of radius 6 centimeters. Now here we have this radius 6 centimeters. So we have the circle ready. Now the second part in the circle draw a chord which is AB and that is also equal to 6 centimeters. So you know what a chord is? It is a straight line which touches the circle at two points on the circumference. So let's draw a chord. We've drawn a chord right down at the bottom. Let's name it A and B. Now this is also 6 centimeters. So we've done the first part. Now let's start with the questions. The question here is, if O is the center of the circle, join OA and OB. So you can see O and A. Now let's join OA and let's join OB. So as you can see, they're all radii. That means each one is a radius. So and the radius measurement is 6 centimeters. So OB is also a radius. So that is also 6 centimeters. So now we have finished drawing everything. You can see a triangle there, isn't it? You can see a triangle AOB. Now the question is, assign a special name to the triangle AOB. Now, since all sides are equal, such a triangle is known as an equilateral triangle. So the special name of the triangle AOB is equilateral triangle because all sides are equal. Now, when all sides are equal for an equilateral triangle, all angles are also equal. So here they're asked us to write the measurement of angle AOB. Angle AOB will be this portion here. Angle AOB and the measurement of angle AOB is 60 degrees. All angles are equal and they are all 60 degrees each because they should add up to 180 degrees. Question 5. Draw a circle of radius 4.8 centimeters. Okay, so now take your compass, take 4.8 centimeters on it, draw a circle. Then Mark its center as P. So we have got the center, we'll mark it as P. Now this has a radius of 4.8 centimeters. So let's mark that 4.8 centimeters. So let's name that radius PA. So we have P and A. This point is A. Now question 1. Draw radii. Radii means plural of radius. Here we are drawing two radius. So we say radii. Draw radii PA, we already have PA, we have to draw one more radius PB such that angle APB is 45 degrees. So we have to keep your protractor, place it on the line PA in such a way that the 90 degree mark is on P. Now look for 45 degrees on the inner scale and mark it on the circumference. Name that B. So you will get this. You will get a line like this. So you have an angle now. You have A, P, B. Now this is angle A, P, B. And this will be 45 degrees. So we've done the first part. Now here they're telling us to shade the major sector of the circle. Now what is the sector of a circle? It's just a part of a circle which is enclosed by any two radii. So here we have PB and PA, they are enclosing a small part of the circle. Now, it is enclosed by a radii and an arc. Can you see BA? BA is an arc. So, this is called a sector of the circle. Now, the smaller portion is called the minor sector and the bigger portion is called the major sector. So, the portion that is enclosed, the smaller part is called the minor and the bigger part is major. So second question is shade the major sector of the circle. So let's shade the major sector. Okay, Now we have shaded. This is the major sector of the circle that we have shaded. 
Question 6. Draw a circle of radius 3.6 cm. So let's do the first part in your compass. Measures 3.6 cm and draw a circle. So we've got a circle drawn. In the circle, draw a chord. A chord is a straight line which touches two ends of the circumference of the circle. Now here we need to draw a chord that is 5 cm. So a line that is 5 cm is what you need to draw. So with the help of your ruler, measure 5 cm and you should be able to draw a chord anywhere. So here we'll draw a chord here. Now this is 5 cm. So we finish this. Let's name it A and B. Chord A, B is 5 cm. It's touching two points on the circumference of the circle. It's a straight line. Now this other part of the question. Now shade the minor segment of the circle. Now what is a segment? A chord will divide a circle into two parts. You can see a smaller portion here, isn't it? A smaller portion here and a larger portion here. This larger portion is called the major segment and the smaller portion is called the minor segment. Now we have been asked to shade the minor segment. So let's do that. So we'll shade the minor segment. So the portion that has been shaded in red is the minor segment of the circle. See, and this is 5 centimeters. Question 8, draw a line AB equals 8.4 cm. So first, draw a line AB 8.4 cm. Second part, now draw a circle with AB as the diameter. Now, when you want to draw a circle, you have to get the measurement of the radius. Now we know the measurement of the diameter. So the measurement of the radius will be half of the diameter. And diameter is? 8.4. So let's find the measurement of the radius. 1 into 8.4 is 8.4 divided by 2. So let's divide 8.4 by 2. 2 fours are 8 minus 0. I must carry this point up. I can bring down 4. Now 2 twos are 4 minus 0. So I've got the measurement of the radius now 4.2 centimeters. So take this measurement 4.2 centimeters on your compass and draw a circle marking the point here in the middle and draw the circle. So you will get a circle like this with AB as the diameter. So we finished the second part. We finished, first part is over. Second part is over. Now mark a point C on the circumference of the circle. So on any point mark any point of the circumference, mark a point C. So let's mark a point here. So that is C. So we finish the third part. Now the last part of the question, measure angle ACB. Now we don't have an angle ACB, isn't it? So to get an angle ACB, let's draw a line from A to C. Let's join AC. So we join that. Let's join BC. So now we have an angle ACB. Now here when we are talking about measuring the angle ACB, we are talking about the letter in the middle. That is this angle here. So this letter here and this angle here is what we are talking about. So this is the angle and as you can see, angle C is 90 degrees. It's a right angle. So measurement of angle ACB will be 90 degrees. So we can write that angle A. C, B is equal to 90 degrees. So this is our answer to this question. So we found the measurement of this angle. So children, with this, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you, children.